Not on. Can you speak in the microphone? Hello. Can't hear. Who's deaf? We've got Jurassic Park. And I think it's it's amazing that we have a place like this, obviously needing an extension, says he. Um, it's become a very special place for a growing number of Speedway folk. So we should be eternally grateful to Peter, to Paradise. Wildlife Park and all those who make this venue possible. I found myself wondering if any other sport has such a hallowed spot. I think possibly not. So this is perhaps a unique place. But it is hallowed, nice old fashioned word, meaning holy, because it is blessed. Uh, it was blessed by me when all this began. And prayer is often here, not just annually, but I'm sure on a regular basis by those who visit to remember their loved ones from the Speedway community. And now, thanks to our volunteer, Jenny, we'll hear the reading from Ecclesiasticus. Let us now sing the praises of famous men, our ancestors, in their generation. The Lord apportioned to them great glory, his majesty from the beginning. There were those who ruled over kingdoms and made a name for themselves by their valour. Those who gave counsel because they were intelligent. Those who spoke in prophetic oracles. Those who led the people by their counsels and by their knowledge. They were wise in their words of instruction. All these were honoured in their generations and were the pride of their times. Some of them have left behind a name so that others declare their praise. Thank you very much, thank you. Short address, I promise you. Um, all writers and speakers, even those who deliver sermons, know you have to have a good starter. And I don't just mean the man who makes the tapes go up. Hence, uh, newspaper headlines they know how to grab you well they should um, and it's instructive to scroll through a day's headlines to see how diverse they can be of course the headline is tailored to the likely reader and the possibility of perhaps making a sale by grabbing the attention i have a friend who's a writer and publisher not unknown to the speedway community who reads he says the Guardian and the Daily Star each day because he said it's instructive to study the contrast in what is deemed to be important to one imagines very different readerships. I came across this superstarter a couple of Sundays ago from Martin Love who's the motoring correspondent of The Observer who once like many a journalist had a go at Speedway. Uh, some might remember, I do, he attempted to ride one of Kelvin Tatum's bikes at Lakeside with the usual result and the usual conclusion. It's nowhere near as easy as some make it look. But he began. In these turbulent times, it feels like as if the world has gone out of sync. We clash, we jar, we take offence at everything. Everyone seems irritated. What is needed is a lesson in harmony and nowhere is that achieved more quickly and more literally than spending an afternoon on a tandem at 
maybe Parliament, he said, should hire some tandems to see if they can find some common ground. And maybe one day I thought we could have Speedway tandem bikes. Now that really would be interesting. <laughs> but this is, as I say, hallowed ground. This little place tucked away in, is an exercise in peace and in harmony. The busy world and the roaring roads are but a whisker away. But here is an oasis. Here is peace. And it's not just the peace of the immediate surroundings, but the peace which comes with remembering, in particular today, our gratitude for the life and times of Ivan, Ronnie, Kelvin and John, recalling the memories they have all left us at Treasury. Now we'll have some of these, the our four plaques today uh, unveiled with appropriate words to come. Peter, Good afternoon, I think it is now, isn't it, to everybody, that you know, before I say a little about Ivan, that I think when you look around at some of the plaques, you realise that you know, the people who entertained you know, a lot of us, people who competed against others, that they were also very much family people. They weren't just these figures that were the, originally all their black leathers on the track. You know, they had a home to go to, they had a wife to love, they had children, they had a family. And that's really what Speedway you know, has become over the years. I've been involved in it you know, fairly closely since 1960. And it really is one huge family. And I think it's to the eternal you know, gratitude to Paradise Wildlife Park and Pete Sampson in particular that we do have this sort of spot where we can come along and unveil a plaque, talk about our memories and remember all the people. Before I say any more about Ivan, can I ask one person possibly to come and join me if he doesn't mind all this? Gordon Stops, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gordon, as most of you will know, or some may not know, was Ivan's long, 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 long time mechanic. Uh, he probably, other than one or two people, he knew Ivan better than anyone one else. So we had you know, a lot of good times together, I think, you know, down at various homes, down at um, Upper Jordan, and then later particularly at Bramhall. I would go over, I was living on and off up in the north, and. You know, we'd go over and I'd go over into the workshop, Gordon would be slaving away, I'd be sat there drinking Ray's tea and Ray's coffee and, and whatever else. So I was always able to just to watch Gordon, how meticulous he was. And I know Ivan you know, will be really grateful that, the, that Gordon is here today. So if we jointly unveil it. But Ivan, as most of you know, was somebody who started Speedway very young. He came over when he was 16, newly married that he had nothing in his pocket. I can remember going to the first home they had, or sorry, the second home they had in England, because I didn't know him when he came over in the 50s. He wasn't until the 60s. And for anyone who believes that Ivan like, was unlike any other rider, Ivan was exactly the same as any other rider. He started off, he had to work for it. The more successful you get, the harder you, you have to work. You know, it really it was so sad that you know, he died you know, last year because you, when you knew him, you, you never thought he would ever, ever be away from you. You thought that he was going to live forever. You know, I still now you, you expect that phone call uh, from just to say, oh, it's Ivan here. And you know, there'd be a long pause and you'd be waiting for him to carry on talking, but eventually he would carry on and on and on. And it's been a, an awful sad loss, particularly to our family, um, because they were more than, they were probably the best f friends that we ever had as, as a family. Um, but I'll never forget him. The, what is so wonderful is that there are tributes to him. His family are still deeply involved in Speedway. They still love Speedway. Um, 
But alongside <laughs> Ivan, there are other people who everyone in here is the same. They're all here so that we can pay tribute and we can remember them. So if I'll ask Gordon to help me to unveil plaque to Ivan Gerald Major. Point your finger towards it. Okay, yeah. I got it.